What's good, everybody? It's your boy, Sir House of Jazz. Chicka, chicka. Jazz. Jazz. Back again with another one, two, three. Classic. You got it. Yes, indeedy. And this time we have Roberta Flax, Feel Like Making Love. And I'd like to give a shout out to Mr. Elijah and I'm T.O. I'm, I'm sure that's how you pronounce your last name. Thank you so much. This is one of my um, Patreon people who um, changed his pledge to $20 so that he could start requesting some tutorials from the Patreon side. So um, thank you so much. Definitely appreciate that. And um, so we're going to take a look at this tune now these chord what you just heard me play is the same key that roberta flack did the song in and everything but he asked me to um he was he was like it's okay to do a roberta flack's version but he just wanted like just uh, you heard me play a little something like on the intro a little bit and he just wanted me to just kind of play that little intro so he can just when i guess you know so he can have his own intro so this was based off the Bob James Quartet. When you heard, when you kept hearing the, uh, I'm sitting here, I was like looking on my phone, like what was the name of the guy? Yeah, that's, that's the name of the quartet. The, uh, yeah, so uh, what I'll do is I'll have a link to that performance in the description of this video so that you'll know. It's, it's, it's their instrumental, you know, trio, you know, no singing, but I mean, real smooth, real, smoothed and laid out so um so this so this goes let's start with the chords to the song and then i'll show you you know what i just did over there okay so but the basic chords of the song the song just it starts with uh, f minor nine f c f on the left hand a flat c e flat and g on the right hand and I'll go ahead and show you the right hand. So if you want to do the intro the way you heard me play it, you can just go. All those notes that I'm playing is G, C, E flat. Those are the notes that you're hearing. Like, and if you click the link in the description, you'll hear the band and you'll hear the P, the keyboard player uh, doing that. You, you'll hear. All right. So, so that's the first chord, F minor nine. The next chord. You have an F minor 11 over B flat. Double B flat on the left hand. F, A flat, B flat, C, E flat. And then you play the same thing. It's always, it never switches. It's just G, C, E flat. Okay, and then you want to go to a E flat major 9. Double E flat on the left hand. G, B flat, D f and then you once again you can hit that again <laughs> same thing g c e flat and then it goes to a d flat nine chord double d flat on the left hand f a flat b e flat on the right hand and then it goes to c seven flat nine double c on the left hand g b flat D flat and E on the right hand. Okay, and then um, it goes back to F minor nine with that G C E flat again. Um, double F on the left hand, A flat C E flat G on the right hand. F minor eleven over B flat again. Double B flat on the left hand. F A flat B flat C E flat on the right hand same melody over there then g major mm, g where in the world did i get that from e flat major nine double e flat left hand g b flat d and f on the right hand you already know what those notes are by now right and then this time you want to come to a a7 um I, on a chord sheet, I said flat five, but for those that know their theory, flat five and sharp 11 is the same chord. It's like the sharp 11 is also a flat five. So whichever one you you know, know it as, that's cool. Uh, double A on the left hand. G, A, D, 
D flat and E flat. Okay, and those are the chords to the verse, so. And of course, when you're playing the verse, and it's not the intro, don't keep playing that. Just play the chords, you know, if you have a singer with you, you know, just play the chords. You know, you don't have to add that extra part. You get me? Okay, now all I got to do is just show you the chords to the chorus, and that's it. So after that, when you get to the chorus, you have an A flat major 9, double A flat left hand. G, B flat, C, E flat on the right hand, G minor 7, double G on the left hand, G, B flat, D, F on the right hand, F minor 7, double F on the left hand, F, A flat, C, and E flat on the right hand. And C minor seven, double C left hand, G, B flat, C, E flat on the right hand. Return to A flat major nine again. Double A flat left hand, G, B flat, C, E flat right hand. G minor seven, double G on the left hand, G, B flat, D, F on the right hand. D flat uh, nine chord, double D flat left hand, F, A flat, B, E flat on the right hand, C minor seven, double C on the left hand, G, B flat, C, E flat on the right hand. Then you have to do, um, there we go, yeah. All right, so what you're doing is you want to start with an E flat seven, double E flat on the left hand, G, B flat, D flat, go up a half step to E seven, double E on the left hand, A flat, B, D on the right hand, and then go up a half step again. Now at this point, I like to just go back to the way I usually play an F seven chord. That's just my preference. So you can do double F on your left hand or just F and E flat on your left hand. Then the right hand is F, A, C, and E flat. Those are all the chords to the song. So let me just play the chorus. Always end the song on E flat major nine, double E flat left hand, G, B flat, D, and F on the right hand. Hopefully that helped you out, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.